Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video that is a tutorial that shows you how to do video and audio recording with Ubuntu Linux using FFmpeg. I am recording the screen right now and you can see the program running. I'm going to show you how to get it. You get it online with this tutorial that is not a video that's called proper screencasting on Linux and it's real easy to get. All you have to do is step one go up to this box and copy the contents of it or here's one in more detail this is the one I copied and you copy the whole entire box first you highlight it and then you hit control C and then you open up a terminal and when you open up a terminal you cannot paste that by means of control V that will not work instead you have to go to edit paste and now you've pasted it you want to save that file and I've already done so so let me close this and I'm going to close this and I'll show you what the file looks like. I've got it right here but I'm also running it so I'm going to open up a second instance oops that's the wrong one I've got so many things open there it is and this is what I pasted the top one that's in black you can have several variations of it and the ones in blue I put in a crosshatch symbol in front of them to not use them as a program this would just be a remark if you remove the crosshatch it turns black and now this one is the remark but the first one is the one that I'm using to record this screen right now and the program is saying to grab the screen in 1366 by 768 that's my full screen and where I got that from was to go up here in preferences monitors and it says that that's my resolution 1366 768 you can change the screen capture size and if you look at the second one down here in blue it's 452 by 292 and there is another program you can download and it comes with a terminal also you'll open up terminal and you'll put in X win info and it says go click on oh I accidentally clicked on this and that says how big this window is this window is 470 uh, 817 by 472 and it is over to the right 545 and down 30 you can't use an odd number so you would put in 818 by 472 and you put that in right here and it will capture a screen for you uh, of any size for instance if you wanted to you could go to Hulu and capture this size screen uh, let me close this out go win info best I put this over here to the right win info and it says click here and now it says that screen is 451 so you'd put in 452 by 350 and it's over 911 down 30 and I can't do it now because I'm recording this screen but 
you can do a uh, picture perfect uh, Hulu capture that way if you want to for watching it later and then erase it. There is also a method whereby you can edit out the front and end of a video, uh, delete the front part and uh, the end part. It's sort of a poor man's video editor. Uh, you cannot edit the middle out, but you can make separate ones. And it goes into some detail here with examples how you can add together several videos. And that's in the FAQ section. How do I get the exact size and coordinates of a specific window I want to capture? And then how do I pause and resume? Well, you can't, but you can merge. And down here at the bottom it shows you how to use this merge feature. You can hide the mouse and so on. This is one of the best tutorials I have ever seen on the web and all credit goes to the guy who wrote it. It's very, very good. There are uh, uh, some other things about it. I am capturing the microphone right now. If you want to not capture the microphone, you have to bring up right here where it says internal, that's the microphone, and monitor is on screen. Let me demonstrate that by bringing up the uh, video again. Uh, you can hear me at this point, but, and you can probably vaguely hear the video through the microphone, but when I click this, you'll hear it really good. Well, there's another thing uh, I wanted to show you on the uh, uh, the uh, um, terminal here that you can record uh, in either 30 or 5 or 15 or even 60 frames a second. Uh, right now I've got it recording in only 5 frames a second. I'm not certain, but I think that makes for a very small file size. The tutorial also shows you how to uh, convert from one codec to another uh, using this very, uh, very similar uh, sort of uh, text. Uh, I'm lazy and I just use Handbrake. My name is Pop, and I thank you very much for watching.